His master replied, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. My name is Lillian Solt, and I'm a missionary nurse serving under the Latin America mission with Sevcas in Costa Rica, a tiny little country in Central America between Panama and Nicaragua. We want to share with you what God has been doing in Costa Rica through our partnership with churches and groups coming from the United States and churches and communities in Costa Rica since 1985. These years of missionary service have been coordinated by Pastor Dan Vitito and his wife Marie and many of you. We praise the Lord for his faithfulness. I live in a small town and I'm a plumbing, heating, air conditioning contractor so my talents uh, are of great use here in Costa Rica and I enjoy using my talents here. I have a family and, and four children and a wife and sometimes it's difficult to be away from them for this length of time uh, but they understand what I am doing here as well as uh, the rest of my family. When I come to Costa Rica it, uh, it is a good time, it's fun and, and I love the country, I love seeing the, uh, the natural resources that they have and uh, I learn much from it but it's more than just uh, a vacation because we do a lot of work here and especially at the camp as you can see by the ditches that we dig here it's very hard work and the, uh, the work that's done down below uh, is not an easy task and a lot of us pay our own ways to come to Costa Rica to help out. The uh, friendship basis is probably one of the most important things that I've learned while I was here. Uh, the friends that I've made here in the last three years are, are very close and the, uh, the kids that come up to help w at the work at the camp are very hard workers. Um, I not only give to them but they give much to me that I can take back to the United States and show my people. The reason I keep coming back every year is because it's easier to stay home but I come back because I, I see that not, again, that I'm not only helping, but they are also helping me grow in my life also. I came to Costa Rica to serve on the mission field. I've always had a keen interest in missions, and when the opportunity came for me to serve in Costa Rica, I jumped at the chance. Well, I was a little reluctant right at first when uh, Reverend Dan Vitito first approached me. I put it off because I thought it was such a long way to go. But then my pastor approached me, and I saw it again in mainstream, our regional newspaper. So I uh, told my wife, Thelma, that, well, it looks like we're supposed to go to Costa Rica. And so we made the first trip last year with Dan Vitito. We were so taken with the people and the work going on here. And what really melted my heart was the children when we passed out the items for distribution. They hugged us, and I tell you, they, we went to uh, minister to those children, but they ministered to us. Four o'clock in the afternoon, it, the temperature's falling, it's now about 70 degrees, has been quite a bit warmer, sunny, beautiful. We've been painting all day, it's getting late, we're all getting ready to take our showers and get ready to go eat. We're able to talk to the Costa Ricans, both in the church and outside the church, um, to help the American be able to talk to the Costa Ricans and vice versa and it's been a really a growing experience for me both with my Spanish and also in my walk with Christ. Another thing about being here is being able to be in the natural beauty of Costa Rica um, in the mountains which I love closer to God's people and also to share with the people even though those of us who come down may have more material things. We share and we, we learn as much, if not more, from the Costa Ricans than, and we feel like we get more from them than what we give and all the work that we do. My job is a nurse midwife, and uh, 
coordinating teams isn't really my specialty, but I felt the importance of really working with teams so that they might have a positive experience, positive experience with missions, and that they would want to come back, that they would be turned on to missions. This team is divided into different groups. We have a paint crew, we have a carpentry group that's working, we have an electrical group, and so we have different people under different um, professionals that head up different teams. In 79, the Costa Rican Convention and the American Baptist USA start, decided to form a partnership. In order to be par part of that partnership, I began to hear from the things that they needed in Costa Rica, so I decided to come down just to look around, and that was in 1984. That's when I threw Junior and Her Her Heraldo, I met you. Last year, knowing what the project was going to be, I knew that I would need plumbers, I knew that I'd need carpenters, especially painters, and electricians. That, those were the important skills. So I advertised in our Baptist paper, and several people responded, and we came with 35. Following six years of activity like this in Nicaragua and El Salvador, I thought I was finished till I read in the America, uh, Baptist Observer about the needs in Costa Rica and especially about the camp, it just really jumped off the page. And I, I really felt that this is what I needed to do. And as you know, we came down five years before Costa Rica was ready for me to come for the camp. And so we worked at the various churches in that five years. It, it, it's important that as we come down here we, we, and we bring the funds to, to do it with, it, it's important that we bring the skills to do it. One without the other just wouldn't work. We could bring people with no skills and a lot of money, and we still couldn't get the job done. Or we could bring money, and the Costa Ricans could do the job, but we would not have the partnership. We, we need the whole thing. We need the whole picture. Putting together the, the groups, finding the uh, right skills, which the, the Lord always opens the door. Sometimes he even sends them before we need them, before we know we need, need them. So very important that, that, that we all work together. And as we begin to grow, Starting from 13 and 85 to 60 last year really indicates a, a strong measure of growth. And I know I have grown spiritually because of the experience. And I know many other people have too. My wife, she is a much important part of our work together, uh, the, the planning and, and organizing and all the things we do. and, and other ladies have had a, the very most important part in the work. So I, I think that, that that was one of the best decisions I made. And then the Lord blessed me by moving me to the church at Greenfield where they always gave their blessing for, for me to come and to, to bring the, the group, uh, for, for me to minister in God's, in Christ's name to other people, either through the projects or through bringing capital funds to supply needs, or as you know, the, the times that we brought medication for people. The, I remember the one old man who was dying, and you stayed up all night to minister to him with the medicines that we brought. The, those are the things that, that, you know, that really make the trip complete. 